When it comes to feeding on the go, the Feed Me Dining Booster Seat from Unilove is dominating the baby game. But before I can tell you more, make sure to click and subscribe for more videos. The seat can be used for feeding, a portable travel seat on the go, or a transitional seat to graduate to safe, independent sitting. We travel for vacation and to go to family's houses, so having a booster seat that can travel well is a must. Riley just started eating solids, so we need to have a high chair to put him in at a moment's notice. The steel alloy frame supports up to 3 years or 33 pounds, whichever comes first. The Unilove Feed Me Dining Booster Seat has a patented 4 level height that you can adjust with just one hand. When adjusting between sizes, you turn the knob on the right hand side towards the back of the chair and to make it shorter, you just have to turn the knob in and turn it towards you. The hearts on the frame indicate a size change. Make sure that everything is clicked into place before putting the child in the seat. The Z-shaped frame allows for maximum stability and safety. It has a three-point harness, clear safety bar, anti-slip feet, and a child-proof lock tray. The swivel style tray comes with a removable cover that snaps off and is incredibly easy to clean. The removal tray is heat resistant, dishwasher safe, and FDA approved. The soft padded seat is also easy to clean either by wiping it or putting it in the washing machine. The seat comes in four different colors, gray, pink, black, and tan. Now it's time for the pros and cons. The pros, it's travel friendly, grows with your child, and is easy to clean. And now the cons. I needed two hands to open the chair and fold it back up. It made it hard to hold Riley while folding it up since he's 100% not sitting on his own. So just be in mind if your baby is not sitting on their own. That's why I would rate the Unilove Feed Me Dining Booster Seat 4.5 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click subscribe for more of the best baby gear.